In this third video tutorial, we're going to take a look at the feature in online Google Earth known as Voyager. Voyager is your third icon down over here. It looks like a captain's wheel on a ship. And Voyager is a chance for teachers and students to take a look at curated um, collections of Google Earth imagery. So when you click on Voyager, across the top, you'll get a scrolling uh, featured or editor's picks area here. Now as I sit recording this video, it is November 12th of 2018, so today is the observance of um, Veterans Day, and so a lot of the featured uh, images have to do with uh, war memorials for uh, World War I or um, other imagery surrounding the war and Armistice Day. Um, but then there are also collections for uh, images and events in other parts of the world. And then across the center here, we have a menu where you could look specifically at collections for travel, nature, culture, sports, history, education, and layers. And we'll take a look at um, a couple of options within each of these menus. But before we go through those, let's pick one of these uh, featured collections or stories that are scrolling across the top of our screen to go into as our first example of visiting a voyage. So I'm just going to click on this one here for World War I memorials. And then you'll see it loads that initial image there little information about what we're going to see in this story and we just click the blue button to start exploring. So we are going to fly to the first location in this collection. You can see an information card has opened on the right hand side that tells us where we are and then on the left hand side we're down in Street View Right now we're inside of a photosphere, so we learned in a previous uh, video that you can scroll or click to move to look around when you're in a photosphere, but there is no option to click to move to another location. If you take a look at the globe tool set in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see the exact location where we are indicated by the X here on Earth. And then in the bottom right hand corner, we have the option to move forward to the next location, the next image contained in this collection. So we are moving to an area known as the Shrine of Remembrance. This is in Australia. And once again, we come down to uh, not quite street view, but an aerial here um, in that 3D location. And then we can still click to drag we can scroll in and out to see this area better or move to see what is around this all while still inside of the voyage story and we click to move to the next location and this is pretty much the way each of the voyager stories will work that the students just need to click the arrows to be taken to the next location so here we're in a memorial in france this one is a photosphere but also we have the ability to move within the photosphere. So this is a feature you'll see sometimes where the photospheres will actually let you move around to other locations. And then just as we saw previously when we were learning the tools in Google Earth, if you click the X in the corner, you can exit out of the photosphere. And if we click the X again, we can actually exit out of the voyage story that we're in, or we have the option to restart it or to close the window on the right with the various menu options across the top here. If we exit out of this story and return to the Voyager option, we see all of the menus again. So I would encourage you to explore each of these menu options that you see here. Just to give you a little bit of information, the menu option on the right there, Layers, is going to give the students um, the ability to analyze some data here in Google Earth so they can explore things like seafloor depth, uh, the age of the seafloor, current weather patterns on the radar, global temperatures, and so on. So a lot more um, analytic information than imagery. Another question that we frequently get is how can I search the voyages that are available? How can I easily find one that I found previously and would like to use again with my students? And unfortunately this time there is no option right here in the Voyager page to do a search. However, if we close out of this and we go back to just Google Earth, when you do a search using the location option in the menu in the upper left hand corner, in addition to showing you 
locations by address, country, all the things we talked about in the previous video. It also shows you the Voyager stories that have those terms included either in the title of it or in the description of it. So when we begin a search for Washington, we see Voyager stories that either take place in Washington or have something to do with a location affiliated with Washington. So you can use this search feature here in Earth to find a Voyager story that you have located previously in Voyager simply by searching in some keyword, uh, putting in some keyword that you know is associated with that voyage. So our final stop in this video on the Voyager tool is to take a look at how to share a Voyager story with your students. So let's click to go back into Voyager here and let's just select a Voyager story to use as an example. You as the teacher will click on Start Exploring and when the Voyager story loads for you, what you'll find here in the upper right hand corner inside of the Google Earth imagery are those three little dots that you often hear us refer to as the snowman. When you click on your snowman, your option to share your Voyager story will be right here. Now you've got two different options that appear. I can share just this page. So if I wanted the students to learn more about this particular temple in Beijing, China, but I didn't necessarily need them to look at the other seven locations that are in this Voyager story, I have that option to share just this one page so they can just focus on this location and this set of information. The other option option is, of course, to share the entire story. Regardless of which one of these options I choose, when I click on it, I get a couple of additional options here. I can share it um, by getting a link to this Voyager story that I could then copy and I could put into something like a hyperdoc I might be creating for my students, or I get options underneath to share it through social media, or for our teachers, um, I know a lot of you are using Google Classroom, so you could click there on the option to share to Google Classroom and assuming that you are logged into your Google account, it will load Classroom here in this smaller window for you to start by choosing the class that you'd like to share it to, then choosing whether or not you want to share it as an assignment, a question, an announcement, and so on. So two options that are great for our teachers are sharing through Classroom or just getting a link to the Voyager story or a single page or item contained within a Voyager story. Okay, so continue watching the other videos shared on Google Earth.